Uh, we are here with uh, Matt Schaff, who is representing the Liberals in this riding. So why don't we start off um, with you telling our viewers and our listeners what you bring to the table in terms of your education and your background. Okay. Well, it seems like I've been preparing for politics for 30 years. And I am calling to order the uh, public hearing. I'd like to welcome each of you here. And a motion to adopt the agenda. Across Canada, dress codes in secondary schools have been a hot topic for years. Controversial some of the time. That dress code discussion now hits Chetwin Secondary School. Three grade 9 students who want their voices heard on what they believe as issues with their school's dress code. So we got a little warning about that and yeah, I was wearing them all year before this happened and then finally we just got a warning about it. A total of 18 kilometers and two mountains is what awaited everybody at this start line. Chris and Joel Gordon embody that kind of lifestyle. These twin brothers have ran in the event for the past three years. Yeah, first year we're just kind of like, oh, I don't know about this race. And then second year we tried a little bit. And then this year we're like, oh, okay, yeah, let's try to win this thing now. It's been called the Super Bowl of Chainsaw Carving Championships. Some of the best in the world here in Chetwind. The carvers are only limited to their imaginations. You'll see things in your dreams and nightmares, or turtles mating. So I just thought, you know, well, to be honest, this was for a bet. Here come the Flyers, break away for Weeb. Weeb comes in, puts on a move, goes top shelf, and he'll score. Uh, pretty good, you know. Uh, team got a good jump start, especially off a two and a half, three hour road trip. I mean, all you can ask for is a quick start. I mean, hey, we got it. So, I mean, we just started rolling from there and we haven't looked back. <laughs> Come on, go, go, go! And I just want you to know, I got my only red light camera ticket while I was listening to I Love Myself today, so don't worry, you're I'm forgiven. So happy. He could see the tree was bright and standing out there in the snow. Till he said, I'm here to. I'm gonna praise the Lord. This series is constantly pushing itself to be better and better, and this might be my favorite one. The stunts in this movie feel so real because they are real. I'm just enjoying Erna Pruckel's book, A Journey Beyond. And if you look at page 57 of her book, it's an excellent picture. What is it? It's giant. It's, it's round. It fills the whole sky. It looks just like a giant orange. You have a great destiny to fulfill, my son. Here's a flashback of the Christmas County Spelling Bee. It's so like a and clean Chetland is healthy enough to have an expansionist outlook. And to one town official, the mayor in fact, expansion ought to include the people of Moccasin Flats. A toast uh, to Albert for his many years in Chetland and his long life and his great friendship. The winner of the established garden category is Rowena Harris, with a healthy, lush garden with a lot of variety. Because it's always given me something new and different to, towards a challenge. For this recipe, you're going to need two cups of cooked red potatoes, firm but not overcooked. Come back to basic posture, feet hip width apart, soft knees, pelvis tucked, shoulders back and down. We're going to push the right hip forward. Okay, this is my very good friend. His name is Wendell Snodgrass. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, why don't you introduce me? Okay, this is the skin gin over here to my left. What? Skin gin?
Well, if you read uh, one of the BC Hydropower Pioneers' new books, uh, Voices from Two Rivers, uh, in there is a section which talks about how they looked at the uh, sorry at how they looked at the Peace River, and there were a number of potential sites. Uh, they knew they couldn't build all of them because as soon as you build one, you kind of uh, eliminate the opportunity to build in another location. So there's really only the opportunity to build just a very few dams on this river. Hi, my name is Darren Wonky. I have lived in Lone Prairie for 34 years. I don't really know how they will affect me. I don't know if I'll be able to see them because they are not up. Um, there is questions and concerns I have, of course. Will Chetwin benefit from this? I don't know. It's essentially, it's, it's beneficial for the taxpayers.